everybody, back here on Volume here, and welcome to episode 49 of In Focus Friday. So, last week we had a look at the iconic Mexican Libertad, the ever popular Libertad. It's a really pretty coin, and I can understand why it's so popular. And, and indeed, in the comment section, loads of people saying how amazing that they think Libertads are. So, if you haven't checked out the Libertad yet, please do go have a look. The link's in the description below. Now, the vote last week was an incredibly close run thing. The Scottsdale Silver Bar you can see here was the winner, but it was by a single vote. So thank you to everybody who cast their votes last week. Uh, the returning bars, the Prospector and the Plain Scottsdale bars will be back as well as one additional new item. So make sure you stick around to the end of the episode and cast your vote because as you can see, every vote counts. Now, the Scottsdale bar is a really cool bar which I picked up off the Silver Forum and I love a bar. I think uh, a lot of you who've seen a few episodes of In Focus Friday where I've shown different other one ounce bars and things, uh, you know that I love a bar. And I, I guess there's something just quite alluring about a bar shaped piece of silver. You know, coins are great and I love coins and rounds and you know, that you can't beat a coin. But at the same time, a bar is just really, really alluring. Um, and I like them. So this is the um, the Newey Islands $2. Now actually, having just said all of that about bars, this is uh, almost sort of a hybrid between the two because it is a denominated um, kind of coin bar, as you could call it, in its uh, own right. It's got $2 denomination, as you can see there. It's from the Newey Islands. This is a 2013 one. Um, so yeah, it is kind of a hybrid, I guess, but um, it's still really pretty. And, you know, Scottsdale, fantastic manufacturer of things, very high quality stuff. And of course, the logo is just really, really great. And I think that's probably why, you know, this is such a, um, I don't know, really attractive bar. It just has this great big lion's head on it, great sunray design in the background. Um, and obviously it's one troy ounce, absolutely gorgeous stuff. Now, what's quite cool about this is that it's got a kind of what's called mint guard technology. Uh, and that is a kind of almost like a hologram that we've seen on the new pound coin here in the UK. Now, I'm going to try and get this right, but I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to pick this up. But from this angle, you should be able to see 2013 written on there, the year of the of this particular coin bar. And then when you have it from the other direction, you should be able to see the word valid uh, or from one of these two directions. I might have got that wrong, but it's very difficult to pick up. But that's one way of, you know, this, this sort of mint guard technology showing there that you've got, uh, in fact, there we go, this angle's better. So you can kind of see 2013 there and then from the other side, valid. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting to have that design on there. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure how necessary that is, but it's a nice thing to have, don't get me wrong. Uh, it looks good and uh, yeah, I think it's just a nice little addition to have to your bar. Uh, these were from what I can gather around about 350,000 in mintage. Uh, the limited research I did on them, I don't know quite how old you know, the series goes, I don't know whether this was the, fir the first one or not, um, but you know, they seem to have a little bit of a premium to them, obviously they are quite pretty. Scottsdale stuff ten tends to have a little premium on them depending on what it is uh, as well, but it's really very nice. Uh, I like it a lot. So do let me know your thoughts on it. Do comment on this. I mean, it, this particular specimen is not necessarily in the best condition in the world. There's a little bit of wearing. And in fact, when I got it from the Silver Forum and stuck it on my scales, it weighs just under an ounce. Um, you know, the, you, you often get a little bit of an alarm bell ringing when something weighs under an ounce because it's not quite right weight. But you can tell that the Queen's head has been a little bit worn. There's also a little bit of wear up on the sort of corners here. So I don't know whether this has been a kind of pocket piece for somebody or it's been sat on a, you know, on a desk and they've been picking it up and having a look at it lots and stuff but I don't mind you know I did a specific gravity test on it and it's most certainly real most certainly 909 silver so uh, yeah there we go that's the Scottsdale silver fancy bar let me know your thoughts on it let me know if you guys have got any of these or if you plan to get any having seen this video it's always fun to see if anybody looks to get some uh, so that's the Scottsdale bar now as always we have the returning items from last week we have the prospector bar and we have the regular kind of plain Scottsdale bar uh, with the fancy back. So let me know of those two you would like to see, but actually, sorry, I've forgotten. We've got the new coin this time, and this is the 100 Cedis Leopard, the controversial, ever popular, you know, there's many different words to describe this, but this is the 100 Cedis Leopard coin. It's the mint error or the sort of, you know, the error coin that's been produced uh, from Scottsdale and uh, I don't know let's see let's see which one wins out I personally think the leopard's just probably gonna strike gold on this one and uh, and be the most popular one but who knows prospector in with a good shout this week you know ever popular with that design it's just absolutely fantastic uh, so do cast your vote in the comment section here just comment which one you'd like to see next week and then we'll put it in focus for you guys 
Otherwise, I just want to remind you all that tomorrow we've got an absolutely amazing unboxing video. It's actually in two parts because it's such a huge unboxing video from the group order through goldsilver.be and the Silver Forum. It's a really, really big order, great video, so make sure you stick around and see that. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the alarm bell, and then you'll get a notification when that comes out tomorrow. If you could stick a thumbs up on this video and share it around on your social media, that would be very helpful for everything that I do here at Backyard Bullion. Otherwise, I just want to say a massive thank you for everybody for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.